How's it going everyone? This is Kay and it's actually been a while since I last did a figure collection video. As you can see, some of the shelves are still in work in progress, but it's been I believe like two years since I last did a video like this. So my collection has definitely grown. And of course, lots of Fate Grand Order figures, but you do see some random anime figures. As you can see right there, there's a random Lin. Nonetheless, let's showcase my entire collection. And you will start with the first shelf. This is supposed to be a saber face shelf, but <laughs> you can sort of see in the left corners, uh, Musashi and Mash aren't saber faces, so kind of ruined the original plan. Also, it looks a bit disorganized. I am planning to buy Detolfs, but I don't know. I just need to find areas to put it, and then because Detolf is a lot, well, they basically won't fit as much figures as these sh open shelves so I just need to plan everything out and it looks a bit disorganized still work in progress but going back to the first shelf you can see all the way in the back MHX by Kotobukiya I bought that for 130 didn't really like it kind of regretted it but a new addition to my saber face collection is the maid altar freaking amazing figure looks great that coat <laughs> oh man and that dress of course, that sniper rifle, everything about her looks great. Of course, back there you have the two Johns, Darks, Jean Alter, and Jean Dark in her third ascension outfit, both by Anaplex. I am planning to pick up the uh, Jean Alter, I believe it's from manufacturers called Alter as well, because that looks amazing, but I can't find it for a reasonable price. It's like almost $400. Overall, the, pl uh, the base is kind of plain. I didn't really like it, but I do like the fire effect on this Jean figure. And we have Okita. I am planning to move her because the Good Smile Company Okita Alter will come out relatively soon. So I'm going to put those two together. And Mash by Stronger, one of the best figures I've ever seen. Just look at the detail of the armor. The freaking shield looks great. I mean, Stronger has made amazing figures. Another stronger figure actually is this Nero, 3rd Ascension. She looks phenomenal. Just look at that dress, the painting, the sculpting. And in the middle right here we have Saber in her 3rd Ascension by Anaplex. They are having a rerun of this figure, but double the price, which I think is ridiculous. I remember, I remember excuse me, back in the day when figures are affordable, this was about, uh, I believe, 150, 155 maybe, but now it's going for 300. So, <laughs> I mean, things are just ridiculous. And we have FGO's best waifu, Musashi. Great figure. I believe this is from Fats. I mean, their painting sometimes suck. Thankfully, mine's is okay. I heard, or I've heard, there are several issues with this figure. My, the only issue I had was that there was a scratch on the top of her head but i painted it slightly so kind of fixed it but the sculpting looks amazing and of course musashi is one of the best characters in the game so just moving on also i do apologize for the lighting i mean the sun is or the clouds is covering the sun on and off so sometimes you can just see the different brightness and if i were to close the shades then unfortunately it'll be too dark nonetheless this is my 1 8 scale shelf right here Really do like this, although I need to get another one since I'm running low on space. First, we have one of the best figures or characters I do like is Lancer Artoria. I don't call her Altria. I hate that name. I always go by Artoria. The horse looks great. Great shading. Amazing painting on the armor. And her lance looks really nice. Looks like a Christmas tree. <laughs> Next, we have a good smile. Attila or Altera. Another great figure. Base is kind of plain, but that's okay. The handle on her sword is a bit warped, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. But nonetheless, the painting on the body and I guess clothing or what the clothing she has, since you know she's not really wearing much, <laughs> to be honest, uh, looks great. The veil on her head looks great as well. Now, two of my most favorite figures of all time is Merlin and Gilgamesh. Merlin is by Alter. Amazing figure. I wish there were more flowers on the base just to make it look a lot better, but Sculpting painting everything looks amazing, especially the hair sculpt. Let me try to see if I could Show you guys. I mean look at all that detail His hair is a bit translucent, which I also like 
looks really good. And Gilgamesh, this figure is amazing. And it's, own, it's uh, I'm trying to remember, I believe about 150. So again, back when figures are cheap, uh, not cheap, I can't speak right today, cheap. The base, oh man, look at that base. I wish more figure were similar to this. Not in terms of the fire effect, but having some sort of nice effect in general. But the fire sculpting looks amazing. You have Aya right there. Nice golden armor. And of course, Gilgamesh looks amazing. One of the best figures ever. And for that price, unbelievable. I think it's my ethos is the manufacturer. But going down to the second section, we have several other figures, one eighth scale. I'm trying to remember the manufacturers. I believe Ku is by Orange Rouge. Okay, it doesn't look that great. I, I, mean, I don't know, the face sculpt looks weird. Back there we have Dante's by Alter. Amazing figure because of the cloak. Look at the shading and the sculpting. Looks amazing. And we have uh, Proto Arthur with Excalibur. You actually, you actually have two options of um, Third Ascension and I believe First Ascension? No, no, not the First Ascension. That's when, it, when he has his hood up. Second. And of course I put him next to Ozzy and that is from Mega House. They look good next to each other. If you know the story of Fragments, the rivalry they had. Sort of wish they also had a rush, but oh well. Back there we have Iskandor, a very boring figure. But, I mean, it's Iskandar, best bro in the Fate franchise, and Archer Emiya in the back right there. And I believe that's by Alter as well. Third section, I can still fit a bit more figures. I am receiving a Gawain by Alter, so I'll place him somewhere here. But first we have Okada Izo, and this figure looks amazing. I mean, just look at that detail of the clothing, his face especially. Back there, we have a Mega House, a, oh man, I forgot his name, Lancer, DR Mood. An okay figure. Again, I really hate the base. I wish more base were like Kingu's or Enki. No, this is Kingu by Mega House. Really nice figure. I don't think I did a review on this. I should because it looks really good, especially the hair sculpt, the Chains of Heavens, and you can see the, not the Gates of Babylon, but the portal in the back. Looks really good. And that base looks amazing as well. Next is Caster Gilgamesh by Orange Rouge. Doesn't look that good, but I mean, it's Caster Gil. I wanted the figure of him sitting on the throne, but that's like $300. I'm not that rich to afford that. And down here is just some random figures. Uh, I believe her name is XCI by Arknights or from Arknights. Really good looking figure. I mean, look at all those guns. Unlimited gun works, right? And we have a random Link figure. So the shelf right next to that, we have some random, uh, I shouldn't say random, some of my favorite one seventh scale figures. The original three sabers that I've always wanted when I first saw Face Day Nights. These are reruns. We have uh, Saber Altar with that nice looking um, Excalibur Morgan attack. Or Mana Burst, I forgot what, what the technique is. And then we have the Triumphant Saber. She looks great, battle pose, or battle ready pose. And we have uh, Saber Lily. And I, I placed the Excalibur onto the uh, Sheath or Avalon. Doesn't really look right, but I mean, <laughs> I'm just gonna display her like this. And back there we have the two sisters, Aresh and Ishtar. Both look really good, but have serious faults. As you can see, Arusha's spear, or her lightning spear, it's a bit warped. The plastic they use is horrible. And Ishtar, I mentioned before, she has some seating problems. I mean, I adjusted it so that she won't fall over, but you're basically relying on gravity just to have her propped up, which is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. Next to those two characters we have Skahawk by Quest great looking figure I wish I bought the third ascension though because I do like her with her second spear and Ku Alter I do not recommend this figure this figure kind of sucks but <laughs> especially for the price point my first ever $300 figure and never again 300 is too much 
Second shelf, on the bottom, we have another random, again, that Lynn. <laughs> it's just, I need to move her. I did bought Ike and Marth, so I will move her once those two figures get released. But for now, I'll place her here. Back there, we have Ushi. I forgot the company. A decent looking figure. Wasn't too expensive. And we have Needle Chris by Amakuni. Another great manufacturer. Shoot 10. I sort of wanted the figure from Quest, the Shuten had her sword out and I uh, think her lantern you could actually light up. We have Medusa Lily, looks great, again by Amakuni. The base sucks but I love the sculpting on the hair, the painting, do you see the highlight towards the end? That looks amazing. Serenity, horrible figure but I mean she's one of my favorite characters in the game. That is from Plum, I, I hate Plum as a manufacturer, they kind of suck. Liz and Kyohime in the back, uh, Jean Lily or Santa Lily, and Mash from Anaplex, back in the day when Anaplex was actually a good manufacturer. And right here we have the Fate Apocrypha, or at least the servants that are available. The Atalante in the back is a prize figure, and decent looking prize figure. Right here is Jean Dark. By good smile, it takes up a lot of space. That spear, or not her spear, her flag. I mean, as you can see, it takes up a lot, a lot of spear. But it's a decent looking figure, not too bad. Next is Mordred. Her face looks a bit awkward, but I do like her armor. Base is horrendous, and I forgot the manufacturer for this. I am getting the good smile, uh, red lightning Mordred, where she's sort of in a battle pose similar to the saber figure. So I'm looking forward to that. And we have Astolfo by Anaplex. Looks really good. And Semiramis in the back. Towards the bottom, we have, I guess, a saber face. I count Alice as a saber face, right? I'm <laughs> just look at those two. But Alice, I bought her during the uh, SAO hype, I guess. I don't really regret it. The armor kind of sucks because it's supposed to be golden, similar to, let me show you, Gil's gold armor. But, uh,. This is more of a mustard yellow, so that looks horrendous in my opinion. But I do like the battle ready pose, and then we have Saber. My actually, this was my first, was, is it my first? I, I believe she was my first anime figure I've ever bought several years ago, so she looks good. We have the two Neros, Nero Bride by Good Smile, and Nero by Kodobukia. Both decent looking figures. So this shelf is a work in progress. I need to fix that little scratch on the back. I was moving the shelf previously and kind of damaged the wall, but the two fungal pops, I gotta move. I'm so happy I got the Armor Titan though. My God, he rose in price a lot. <laughs> price figure, Musashi, Tanjiro, and Momo from Muramasa. I believe that was the game, Muramasa. But uh, this session will be my Yu-Gi-Oh! because I pre-ordered the Egyptian Gods. My Slife for the Sky Dragon actually will be arriving soon and it's huge. I believe it's about like this high. So I needed the space. And you have Dark Magician Girl and Yugi, both from Kotobukiya. So both of these will look really good next to Slife for the Sky Dragon. Of course, uh, Obelisk and Raw are coming soon as well. I bought Blue Eyes, uh, Dark Magician. I may get Kaiba. I mean, I like Kaiba as a character. Used to like Yugi, but now I find him boring. Kaiba, all the way. So this shelf is just a random Medusa prize figure. As you can see, I kind of neglected this because uh, it's really dusty. But I, I can't believe they haven't released a scale figure of Medusa yet. I mean, that's just ridiculous in my opinion. One day, one day. But moving next to this one or this area, we have the two sabers on their motorcycle. Uh, this one is uh, Saber Altar from Shinjuku, Fre uh, not Freight, uh, Fate Grand Order, and this is from Fate Zero. Both looks really good, especially the bikes. Look at the design, look at the detail. Simply amazing, but going back there, we have a Raiko figure by Belfine. It's okay, not the best. I wouldn't really recommend her. But Tamamo and then Okita by, I believe, Alter or Good Smile. Right here is another random shelf with two Digimon figures. I am collecting the Mega House Digimon collection or figures. And back there is just a SAO Shinon. I should actually put her next to Alice, but I mean, 
Ah, uh, it's a work in progress. And down here we have the, not Fates, uh, Tales section. Tales of Symphonia, Exilia, Grace. I'm a huge fan of the Tales series, but uh, obviously I haven't collected all the figures yet. Lloyd, one of the best characters, and Asbel, Jude in the middle right there, or sort of in the middle, and then we have Luke right there. Another random section, this will be maybe my Attack on Titan shelf or area. Uh, I should actually move the <laughs> the Punk Pops down here, but I'll do that eventually. Mikasa and Levi. This Levi is from Kotobukiya. Holy shit, it looks amazing. Look at the base. Only costed me, I believe, 130 so very cheap. I, I, I shouldn't say it's very cheap, but compared to other <laughs> pricing, this is actually really affordable. One of my favorite figures right there. And again, uh, I am getting the Attack Titan. I believe it's a uh, pop grade. Maybe it's like a foot big or something. I gotta do more research, but I definitely want to have a dedicated uh, Attack on Titan section. All right, so there is a lot more. This is my Play Arts Kai action figure collection. Have many more, which I will show you, but this area is Final Fantasy. We have the Final Fantasy 15 characters back there. They're all right. I actually didn't bought the or complete the entire boy band. You know, Prompto, Gladiolus, and I forgot Ignis. They were too expensive, but regardless, good-looking figures. Now this Noctis, I hate Square Enix sometimes because they keep re-releasing figures. This is the first one, and then six months later they re-release a better head sculpt, which is a bit frustrating. But right here we have. Squall from the Dissidia, not Squall from Final Fantasy VIII, he had a different design. And Lightning from 13. 13 was okay, not really the best, but not the worst. And then we have the Final Fantasy VII, it's a work in progress, I'm still collecting the others, but the Advent Children, uh, Cloud and Sephiroth, I did not buy the others. Tifa is like 400 bucks, I missed out on getting her when she was cheap. But I do have the remake Tifa. And Aerith, Rufus, uh, Rena, Root, all the other player sky is coming soon. I pre-ordered them. Or, yeah, I pre-ordered, but the uh, retail I ordered from is a bit slower. Now, this is the version 1 Cloud. Like I said, I hate Square Enix because they just keep remaking figures, which is frustrating because they made a version 2, and no doubts with the uh, next installment of the game, they're going to make, you know, version 3, 4, 5, whatever. And Aventroder and uh, Yuffie. Dirge of Cerberus, Vincent, and this figure looks simply amazing. Look at that cloak, or his cape. For this section, it's supposed to be a Mega House collection. Uh, we have Ash and Serena, Greninja and Sylveon, I believe, and Mimi from Digimon in the back. I am planning to buy the other Digi Destins or Digimon Matt. I forgot the proper terminology. Like Agumon, Tai, Matt, and place them in here if I could fit them all. Now for this section, this is from Asmus Toys. Basically, it's similar to Hot Toys, and this will be my Devil May Cry 5 section. I am missing Virgil or V, but I'm not planning to buy V. I don't really like his design. And besides, uh, V is oh, spoiler alert. V is Virgil, so I'll just get the <laughs> Virgil instead. But we have Dante and Nero. Both of these look amazing. One six scale. Again, they're sort of like Hot Toys. Amazing looking figures or dolls. Some people call these dolls. So right here we have more Player It's Kai figures. Kingdom Hearts, one of my most favorite franchise. Even though the story is a complete mess. Yo, when people say the Fate franchise is confusing, try explaining <laughs> Kingdom Hearts. Hearts this, Hearts that, Soul this, or Friendship this, I, I, it's just crazy. But Kingdom Hearts 3, Sora looks amazing. They are making a version 2, which again, I hate squaring it for. We have Roxas in his Organization 13 outfit with Oblivion and Oathkeeper. Regular Roxas from Twilight Town. Aqua in the back, and we have Riku, and it's kind of dark. But we have the Halloween costume Sora from Kingdom Hearts 2. I try to make him look like a Valor form or stance. So here is my Gundam or Gunpla Master Grade section. Or I can't really call it a section, it's just the Gundam Seed Destiny Gundams. 
We have the original Impulse right here. Yes, I used to build Gunplas back in the day, but I stopped. Nothing too fancy, I just mainly do straight builds. Never really got into customization or painting, but one of my favorite, Strike Freedom. I am missing one of the Dragoons, which kind of sucks. I can't find it. Oh well. Nothing I can do about that. So basically there's just seven Dragoons. But we have Sword Impulse right there. Again, one of my favorites and Infinite Justice all the way in the corner right there. If you're wondering why the Saber is orange, it's because of sun or not sun damage, heat damage. It was in storage. But I left it in the attic, or these gunplas in the attic for like two to three years. Recently took them out, and sadly the sabers are damaged or change of color from pink to orange, as you can see. Okay, some more random gunplas. We have the Proto Wing Zero, Epion, I uh, forgot that's Exia from Bill Fighters. Also, if you hear some kind of drill in the background, uh, it's, there's some construction around, so I do apologize for that. One of my most favorites, the Double O Gundam. Look at that, he looks amazing. Again, I don't really customize or paint my builds, just straight builds. New Gundam and, uh, shit, I forgot this one. Is it, not, it's not the Sazabi. I forgot the name of <laughs> this. I know Char uses it, I uh, completely forgot. And we have a dead Banshee right there. I need to move these. I'm planning to put other figures, but like I mentioned before, I just recently took out my gun plugs, so just need to find a area to put them all together. And we have a random Deku Funko Pop, which, eh, <laughs> it's okay. Not much of a Deku fan. Don't hate me. I know the fandom is uh, quite dedicated and passionate. But Deku is definitely not really my most favorite character from the show. It's someone else, uh, maybe Todoroki, which is many others, but I'm going off topic. Now these are more player arts, Kai. This is the Marvel variant. So basically what a variant is, is a anime style looking uh, comic book characters, right? Because there's others. Uh, we have DC in the bottom right here. As you can see, the Justice League. And again, if you do hear a drill in the background, I apologize for that, but with Batman, looks great. Superman, I was a huge DC Marvel fan years ago. I don't really read comic books, but I watched movies, shows, did some online research in terms of lore and background, Flash, Cyborg. But going back to the Marvel, Black Widow, Venom, Spider-Man, Captain America, Deadpool, Iron Man actually looks really good, I, although I do wish they put more gold on his armor, but eh, and Thor. This isn't the entire Marvel variant collection. There's like Magneto, Doctor Strange, but I stopped collecting because it got too expensive. Again, this is DC. And down here, this is, well, you see two Star Wars variants, Darth Vader and uh, Darth Maul. A variant of Joker in the back, a random Robocop, one of my childhood <laughs> movies I've loved. Variant uh, Catwoman, and this is just some random. We have a Deathstroke from the Batman Origins. I really like his design in that game. The armor just looks amazing. Nightwing in the Arkham Knight game. Virgil and Dante, they don't really look that great, but I bought them for like 40 bucks, so relatively cheap. And one of my most favorite, Raiden from Metal Gear. Holy shit, he looks amazing. Look at that armor. So that's my Player's Kai collection. Well, there you have it, folks, my entire anime or figure collection in general. Like I mentioned before, I do need to buy details, but you just can't fit the same amount of figures for each shelving. So that kind of sucks. I just need to figure out what to do. And, of course, adjust and move different figures around. But for the time being, this will do. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for future figure unboxing videos or reviews. I did pre-order a ton more. Uh, a lot of fake Grand Order, a lot of other random figures like I mentioned, Fire Emblem, Ike and Marth, Egyptian Gods from Yu-Gi-Oh! So hit that thumbs up and subscribe like I mentioned before. Till next time everyone, take care.